coming back from my first shopping for uh, weeks, I was inspired by some of the flowers, some white flowers I saw on the way back and took some photographs. I couldn't sketch because too many people were walking. Um, I'm going to show you the process that I do to create a meadow painting. If you look at my palette, um, this is a stay wet palette. The bottom layer is wet and then there's a layer here with the paint on. I described that in a different um, link. Um, I would use a rag and, and use another little palette to put paint on. First I create um, a ground on my canvas. I love working on these um, big linen canvases for acrylic things but you can equally well work on paper or um, canvas paper or canvas board. Stop. It doesn't matter what colour you have in the background. I like to use um, a sort of terracotta colour or a warm colour because I find that it comes through the canvas and I cover all this canvas making sure there's no little white spots in it as I'm going on. You need to cover the whole of the canvas with the colour. Um, it doesn't matter what colour it is because you're going to add more layers on top of this but it needs to seal the surface and helps to bond the acrylic paint to the um, to the canvas that you've got under there. I use this as a little mixing palette if I've got to use a lot of paint to cover an area like this. Um, to finish the picture I, need, I use um, a brush, a really scruffy old brush like this. I scrub it about so that it um, distresses it and then you can paint lots of flowers all at the same time with this brush so that you can put a lot of little pieces with it and that's and I work over the whole thing doing more of that using a fine brush in the end to do some of the fine lines and then bringing out some of the flowers with the fine lines to complete it and this is as far as I'm going with this now then I need to look at it in the morning light tomorrow and see if there needs any more to be done.